Okay, we are on. Um, let's talk about all this email I got about Keith Thurman fighting Floyd Mayweather. It's funny to me how everybody is saying Keith Thurman deserves the shot, but he would be over Kell Brook. Keith Thurman, Kell Brook. So, Keith Thurman, who in my estimation does not have a world title, deserves a shot over a guy who has a world title, and you say he needs to fight somebody. Mm. And I look at Keith Thurman, and I said, okay, he just fought uh, Robert Guerrero, and who else besides that guy? Diego Chavez was his second big fight. Um, Joe Brooke, look at people he's fought. Oh, Joe Zodan. Frankie Gavin, who only lost one fight. Sean Porter, the guy that beat Devin Alexander. You know, nobody beat Sean Porter until Cal Brook beat him, so. Who's these people he's supposed to be fighting? That Kel Brook's supposed to be fighting, rather. When you say Kel needs to fight somebody, but Keith Thurman is good to go. What makes Keith Thurman good to go? And Kel Brook not. Robert the Ghost Guerrero? That was it? A guy who had already lost twice going into the fight. Okay. I mean, it was a good fight for Keith Thurman. He finally fought a name. You know, he finally fought someone. But still, that puts him in the lottery for Mayweather. I, I'm trying to figure out y'all logic. And I'm trying to break it down to y'all so where it makes sense. When you write me all these emails dumping on Brooke, but saying yes to Keith Thurman, it's like, doesn't make sense because Thurman's a good talker. He's on YouTube a lot, a lot more than Brooke. You don't know enough of Brooke, and that is why you made this choice. Because we've have plenty of fights for Keith Thurman to have that isn't Floyd Mayweather that he could fight. Let's see Keith Thurman versus Madonna. Let's see all of these exciting fights that Keith Thurman can have to where the public would really demand it. You know? Khan at least has in his recentness <laughs> then fought a couple of guys that would put him on the plateau. Um, eligible for Floyd Mayweather. But if you look at Eddie Hearn, Eddie Hearn has offered Khan, my God, so much money is ridiculous. It is utterly ridiculous for Amir Khan to turn down that fight with all he's being offered. He's getting over $5 million to fight Kelbrook. Over $5 million. He's not going to get that kind of money with Floyd guaranteed he's not going to make that kind of money and this is over five mil they offered him five mil the last time he turned it down he has no reason talking about legacy what legacy you're not going to beat floyd <laughs> you want to have legacy and some money because you losing to floyd mayweather oh how does that improve your legacy you know so i You beating an undefeated real champion in your hometown or in England, period, in a football stadium filled with like 280,000 people. I think that's a legacy fight to me. So, for me, I think Khan has two choices. Take the Floyd fight, which he going to take anyway. Uh, or fight Kell Brook. But they won't fight Kell because they know... Fighting Kell Brook ruins and throws out the window 
any possibility of him fighting Floyd or Manny Pacquiao. It's out of the question. So, I'm out.